Hi, welcome to the Demo Den. Uh, today we're going to have a look at some improvements in Atlassian's cloud products. My name is Ray and I'm a product manager from the Jira Cloud team. This is quite new for us. Uh, we're doing these Demo Dens remotely. I hope your team's staying safe. Uh, I hope everyone's doing well. Despite these disruptions, we're working really hard to get you improvements to make sure that your team stays productive. Now today, I'm going to talk about uh, mobile and desktop apps. We've got three use cases for you. We've got report, code, and release. Let's start with report. Uh, for managers, it helps to get a high level check on how your team's going. Are we hitting those estimates? Are there potential blockers slowing us down? Are we over committing? Now you can answer those with next gen reports. First, the burn down chart. It helps you understand how much your team is knocking out within the current sprint. Now, as you can see here, our team is not really finishing user stories as fast as we expect it to be. Uh, this means that we've overcommitted this sprint. We should have uh, committed less. Uh, so that's not good, but that's the kind of insights we get out of this report. Second, we've got the velocity chart. The velocity chart helps you understand how much your team actually completes sprint to sprint. Here we can see that we've got around 44 average story points that we are completing each sprint. As expected, we're overcommitting. We have to keep to that 44 range in the committed work for next sprint. Third, we've got the cumulative flow chart. Now this helps you understand the throughput, how many issues stay at a status at one point. Now what you don't want to see is something like this where the to-dos slopes a little bit up compared to done, which means that uh, to-dos is increasing at a rate faster than you getting things done. So we gotta fix that up. And loading is super fast because we save everything in the background. Now, if you go in and out of the reports, they load right away and they can update quickly without reloading the whole screen. So you always have the data in your hand. Now with a mobile app, you can plan, track, and now report on how your team is going. Now NextGen is down today and we're hoping to bring these reports to Classic in a later time. Now, let's move on to code. For anyone in the development team, it's awesome that you can see your tasks and notifications within uh, Jira Mobile. However, what's even more awesome is if, just like web, you can see how that piece of work connects with actual code, actual builds, and deployments. Now, what we've done is we've bought developer tools summary into Jira Mobile. That is available right now today in Android and soon in iOS. Now with this, you can see the status of the commits, PRs, and builds. These status automatically update based on what happens on the code. As you know, we have great integrations with major developer tools like Bitbucket, GitHub, GitLab, CICD, like Pipeline, Circle CI, Jenkins, Azure, and more. These are all supported on web. Now we support those in mobile without the extra setup. With this, there's no more bugging your teammates about dev status. You are always in the know all the time. We're also working on the next stage, letting you click through the PRs, the commits, and all the other information that's going to come in the future. But lastly, we've got release. One of the most critical parts of software development is releasing. Now we have this feature on web. You can create a version, add some issues, and line those up for a planned release. So happy to say that as of today, you can view releases on mobile and you can make updates to the versions or issues if needed. This is perfect for team members looking for what's coming up in the next release and perfect for managers who have to work with many stakeholders to communicate what's actually coming out. Awesome features now available today in the mobile app, but I've got one more surprise for you. The reports and releases are also available in the Mac app and developer tool summary will come in the later weeks. So all of these use cases will not only be in mobile, but also on desktop on that fast, uh, awesome experience. Now this would not be a demo then without some spicy questions. Biggest one, I wanna see my dashboards, where is it? The very short answer is we're working on it. Now we announced this in the last community a few weeks ago. Uh, it is taking a little bit of time because there's a lot of customization that users can do within their uh, dashboards and gadgets. Uh, but we are aiming to ship uh, the top three reports later this year, so keep out a lookout on that. And that's all I have. Remember, report, code, release uh, within the mobile apps and within the Mac app. Download links should be somewhere in the screen. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.